When you talk about an Illawarra flame, it conjures up the scarlet blooms of the famous native tree. But if the students from Wollongong University have their way, the Illawarra flame will become famous worldwide for another reason. It's the project name for a solar-powered house design, their entry in a solar competition in China this August. Sharon O'Neill reports. It looks like the construction of a normal project home, but in reality, this is a dress rehearsal, a practice run in assembling not just your average home, but a home that's being prepared for one of the world's most prestigious and challenging design competitions. The Illawarra Flame uh, that you can see getting assembled behind us is a unique um, proposition for the solar decathlon competition. We're demonstrating how you would retrofit a typical Australian fibro house. Just over two years ago, the University of Wollongong decided to take up the challenge and become the first Australian team to enter the Solar Decathlon competition. They partnered with Wollongong TAFE and came up with the idea to create a model that could be applied to existing houses. The model, in line with the competition requirements, would deliver an energy efficient solar powered house. As you can see, we're actually building the house from the ground up, but it's in replica of, a, of an original housing commission floor plan. So everything you can see is the same dimensions using a lot of the same construction methods. The fibro house is commonplace in the suburban streets of Australia's capitals and regional centres. Named for their asbestos fibre cement cladding, these houses were rapidly and cheaply constructed during the post-war period. Known for their poor thermal performance, inefficient energy use, and the health concerns linked with asbestos, the Fibro House is in urgent need of upgrading. Our project, the Illawarra Flame, will be the benchmark for sustainable, affordable and attractive homes for our future. The landscape itself then is uh, going to constitute uh, walkways. Lloyd Nicholl is a master's student in engineering at Wollongong University and the project manager for the Solar Decathlon team. He's leading a group of students from a range of faculties to compete against university teams from all over the world. Why did you decide to do a retrofit rather than build something new from the ground up? Uh, we've got around 8 million homes existing in Australia already and in order to really make a, an impact on our car current carbon emissions we need to retrofit those houses to ensure that they're energy efficient. So our current houses uh, make up 13% of our carbon emissions and, uh, and only 1-2% to of those homes are replaced every year. Essentially that means by 2050 we're still going to have around uh, 4.8 million inefficient homes so we're looking to, to service that market and to fix those homes. This plan shows the layout of a typical fibro house with hardwood framing and asbestos-based cladding. The first step to the transformation is to remove the asbestos cladding. Work then takes place to optimise shading and natural ventilation along with the functionality of the house. Prefabricated pods containing energy efficient HVAC, electrical and water systems are added, designed to minimise the cost and duration of the retrofit. These pods are central to providing the technological advancements required by net zero energy homes. So this is this is the laundry here? Yeah, that's correct. So within here, uh, we've got our uh, washing tub. The we'll solar decathlon will be held in China this August. The house will be tested in 10 different categories, which cover elements like architecture, engineering, energy balance, comfort and market appeal. Jack Breen is a master's student in marketing at Wollongong University. There's nothing really out there that's the complete package. Um, there, there are kind of, especially in Australia with this particular fibro home, um, there's nothing that's done this um, quite like this before. The sun's energy is harnessed using a photovoltaic thermal system added to the roof. Insulation and airtight cladding form a new facade, completing the transition into an energy efficient home. The decision to enter the solar decathlon originated here at Wollongong University's Sustainable Buildings Research Centre. These two buildings are the culmination of a vision by the university to build one of the most environmentally sustainable buildings in Australia, to be used as a research facility focusing primarily on retrofitting existing buildings. The solar decathlon house is not just about the competition and whether we win uh, or just building the house, it's actually an ongoing part of research, 
educating the community, inspiring the community and other students here about sustainability and how to make a difference environmentally. So uh, we just finished construction of the house uh, two weeks ago and since then we've pulled the house apart, we've fitted into a number of shipping containers and then we're on site here today um, and over during this week to pull it all back out, to reassemble it, to iron out any kinks, uh, make sure it goes back together uh, to ensure our, our planning was correct. The improved open plan living connects the interior and exterior environment which is crucial to Australian lifestyle and aids the well-being of the home's occupants. Large windows maximise ventilation and natural lighting. The bedrooms are augmented with additional storage and multi-purpose space. The bathroom and service pod reinforces the connection with the outdoors and forms a technological hub for the house's control systems. So from this to this costs around $250,000 and comes with a guarantee you'll pay no energy bills and do your bit for the environment. It's a design the team from Wollongong University hopes will not only impress the judges in China, but will be embraced in the suburbs at home. The concept we'll be trying to roll out and to demonstrate on real fibro houses uh, to show that it can be done and then to communicate this to homeowners as a, as a viable option to improve the energy efficiency of Australian building stock.